America's fast food lifestyle has contributed to the health disparity affecting people of color in the southern United States. Afia meaning health and Oko meaning farm blend to create the concept of pharmacy. Afiaka was inspired by Aaron who wrote a master's thesis on farming. Health shouldn't discriminate, but rather empower and innovate while getting people to participate. Afiaco is kind of like OnStar. You know what I mean? Like, you know how OnStar is with its vehicles and like, you know, it protects you, the navigation, the security, you know what I mean? You can you can order food from it. Afiaco is OnStar for like your overall health, right? A subsidiary or multinational supermarket chain, bulk food distributors, that provides subscription-based communications. And you know what's crazy? Vertical farming and data science is going a long way. Global vertical farming market will steadily grow at a compound annual growth rate of 20 to 25% to at least 12.77 billion US dollars. In the South, there is a lot of cases of obesity, cholesterol, hypertension. And you know that $12.76 billion you're talking about? That could counteract the $11.4 billion that occurs from the top 15 drugs that are within just those four medical illnesses. Only in the South, like only in the States. So think about the worldwide applications. And let's not forget about climate change. It's something that's going to help people, but it's also going to empower people. Just take a look at social media, for example. We looked at the sentiment analysis and more people are talking about their health problems than they're talking about real solutions to fixing it, like vertical farming. And this all is just from a one year span. Just think about the impact that we could have, not only on social media, but throughout the community as well and worldwide with food hunger. Like the, the lack of food, the scarcity of it, homelessness, poverty, all of these things are impacted by Afiaco, but in a positive way. When we look at tree equity squares, urban communities are the ones that don't have a lot of trees. And through our research, we have realized there is an association between temperature, class, income, inequality, and unemployment. But true to like, like what Ali was saying with the budget, what Antron was saying about jobs, if we take a vertical and eco-friendly approach, maybe not maybe because our data actually says that if we do invest in these type of things communities will not only flourish in terms of their health but also their physical well-being health is wealth wealth is health it's, it's still about data science right in today's world obtaining a large amount of clean data and api is a key skill we, we gotta admit that right One don't get me started yeah, and one of the crucial and the most essential methods of gathering data on a larger scale is web scraping. Referring to the automatic extractions of targeted information from our website is the essential of a high and seek exercise, which can get tedious, but we build a program on the back end development of our website and gathering this information in a format that we can discuss into a specific development. A bot, precisely the average daily temperature of our inventory, our stock, our food, on the average number, and swiftly builds up a richer data set. If you go to the website apiaco.com, you'll be able to see a detailed case study done on a specific plot of land in Houston, Texas. And through that, you can also see all the calculations made to see the difference in the revenue coming in. Where eating healthy does not have to be boring. We have food from tilapia. We have ways to use cassavas. And you know those bees that everyone talks about? And in the grander scheme of this other term, urban farming, where bees may actually be able to come back. So not only are we helping the human ecosystem, we are also helping the bees. And then we could also use other things like fishes and whatnot. Because I know down south, people like their catfish. No, but it ain't, it ain't just the south. I like catfish up here too. <laughs> right? But with the catfish, and with vertical farms comes healthy water, everything's filtered, um, it comes jobs. It also comes community involvement. I could bring my grandpa up there and he can make us a whole dinner with the fish, with some vegetables, and we'll be able to have a community event. I learned through this program, if I can't get a job, we can create them. Beep, beep, beep.